Hi, I'm Joe James, and this video is going to cover the insertion sort algorithm. Most of the vi video is dedicated to a detailed look at how insertion sort works, and then we'll do a really brief big O analysis of the running time, and at the very end we'll look at some Java code. So given an array of items, let's sort them in increasing order. For our example in this video, the items will simply be integers. So let's look at a sample list of items. Um, we have a list of six items that we want to sort, and we'll number them from 0 to 5. And the first item, 5, is already sorted because insertion sort sorts from the left. So the definition of sorted means that all items to the left of an item are smaller than that item. So you can see that item 0, 5, has no items to the left of it that are larger than 5. Therefore, 5 is already in a sorted, sorted situation. So We'll start our insertion sort then at item number 1, which is 8. So we'll set our key value k equals 8. Now our first comparison is to the item at 8's left, which is 5. And the comparison is, is k less than 5? In other words, is 8 less than 5? Well, it's not. So the 8's going to stay where it is. The 8 is now considered sorted, and then we'll look at item number 2 in our list, which is 1. So we'll assign k equals to 1. Our first comparison is, is k less than 8? Well, yes it is. 1 is less than 8, so it's going to swap 8 and 1. Our key does not change, though. Our k value is still equal to 1, so our next comparison is 1 less than 5. Yes, it is. So it's going to swap 5 and 1. So now we can see that we started at element number 2. Element number 2 is now sorted. So we're going to jump our pointer up to element number 3, which is 3. So we set our key value equal to 3. Our first comparison is k less than 8. Yes, it is. So it's going to swap the 3 and the 8. Next comparison is 3 less than 5. 3 is less than 5, so it's going to swap those two. Next comparison is 3 less than 1. No, it is not, so we're done sorting up to element number 3. As you can see at this point, we've sorted four elements, uh, 0 through 3, and you can see that each one of them, the values to its left, are all smaller. So the values to the left of 5 are all smaller than 5. The values to the left of 8 are all smaller than 8. So our next element in the list is 9. So we set k equal to 9. Our first comparison is k less than 8. Well, no, it is not. And since we already know that all the items to the left of 8 are smaller than 8 because the list is sorted, then they're also less than 9. So we know that 9 is already done. So we're going to move on to item number 5, which is 6. We set k equal to 6. Our first comparison is 6 less than 9. Yes, it is, so let's swap them. Next comparison is 6 less than 8. Yes, it is, so we're going to swap 6 and 8. Next comparison is 6 less than 5. No, it is not. So the sort is now finished. So that is our sorted array. So for a quick big O analysis, insertion sort is not considered a fast sorting algorithm because it uses nested loops to shift items into place. That shifting takes a lot of time, and using nested loops takes time. So it is really only useful for very small data sets, not for a million or 10 million or uh, very large data sets. And it runs in time big O of n squared. So we used an outer loop, which we could use variable i if we want to try and code this up. We can use i for this outer loop of 0 to 5, the number of elements in the list. We can use variable key for our k value. And we can use j for the inner loop, where we compared to uh, elements less than i, moving to the left. So let's look at a Java code here, how to, sort, how to uh, code this up using an array. So we'll start our insertion sort 
we're going to return an integer array. We're also going to accept an integer array and we'll assign it the variable name list. That's our input data. And we're going to return the same list but in sorted order. We're going to use some variables, an outer loop called i, an inner loop counter called j, and then we'll have a key value and we need a temp value to do the swaps with. Our outer loop, we will use a for loop. i is going to start at 1 because the very first element, element 0, is already sorted. So we'll start at 1 and we'll go up to less than the length of the list. Okay. And then for the other variables, so look, so this is our i, which is from 1 to the end of the list. Our key value, which is going to be list of i, which is the first value in the key is going to be list of 1. And then we want to go up to list of 5. So the key is going to be, can just use i, list of i, is where it will be initialized. And then our inner loop has to count down from i minus 1 to 0 because the very first comparison is going to be the element to i's left. So when i is 1, our first comparison should be to element 0, right? And when i is 5, our first comparison should be to element 4. So j will count down from i minus 1 down to 0, the inner loop, for comparisons. So we'll initialize key to list of i and j to i minus 1, the element to i's left. And then we'll use a while loop to iterate through the, um, the list of items to i's left. We want to exit the while loop when j reaches 0, i.e. the end of the list. And we'll only reach that when when the key is the smallest element in the list, it'll get all the way to j equals 0. Uh, or when the key value reaches an element that it's no longer smaller than. Right? So as long as key is less than list, we'll continue swapping. So inside this while loop, all we're going to do is swap the elements. Okay? So as long as the key is less than the list of j, and j hasn't yet reached the end of the list, then we'll swap the elements and we decrement j which is moving left one more item so we insert our swap code and th that's really it that's the java code for an insertion sort using just integers and then we return the list and I also provided almost identical code using array lists just for your reference so that wraps it up that is our insertion sort algorithm I'm Joe James. Thank you for watching.